Yeah, no, hello. Great to see you. Nice to see you. Now, what was she saying about me the other she day? She was saying how much fun at the daytime Emmy she had with you. Oh, how she's great. Like, remember when I kind of had more interview than you? <laughs> I said, that's going to be the rest of your life. Yeah. Laura Lee Bell and my daughter, Samantha Morton. <laughs> this is the start. She's falling into some great footsteps, there's no doubt. Well, thank you. Hey, everyone. BJ Chorus here for the Hollywood Moment on the Road to Emmy. We are here tonight at the Television Academy celebrating the 68th Annual Emmy Awards with the peer group from Daytime. And tonight I am here with Young and the Restless. Laura Lee Bell. We have lots of numbers to discuss because we're big on 11,000. 11, I'm talking in code and numbers... Like that's what's that's what's happening. Eleven thousand episodes, Lori. Yeah. What would you say is your Y and R strong moment? Oh gosh, Ma the campaign. You mean your personal, oh. because the campaign is Y and R strong. Oh, Y and R is strong. I mean, for for my character, you know, I was a little bit more um, uh, well rounded many years back. I had fun and. Um, also dabbled in the work and now I'm a little bit more serious so um, you know a few years back for me would be my prime in terms of, of character right. but um, there's never been a bad year it's all about how the characters have evolved and so just like people each year brings on a new challenge or whatever and and it's been a good ride. You know, to see your folks create such an incredible show and it's stronger than ever how great of a feeling is that for you to be carrying on that legacy? Well, my, my dad would be loving a moment and a, an evening like tonight. I looked at my mom the other day. She's having a very small part in the 11,000th episode, right. and I was talking to her about it. And, you know, I just I can't think that they would ever fathom when they sat there on day one saying we have a show that it would ever be what it is today. And that's really thanks to the fans. There's Absolutely. no question. You know, fans want to see more of you. They always want to see more of you. Sweet. Last we talked, we were discussing about some storyline options that you'd like to dive yes. into. <laughs> any progress on any of those lines uh, for you personally? It's funny you should say it. Not that, I've, not that I've heard of. However, today I thought of how out of character it was for my character to get very drunk a bunch of years ago and make out with Nicholas Newman. It was like so bizarrely fantastic. I just look forward to anything that's not predictable for sweet, uptight cricket. I agree. <laughs> I agree. It's not easy to do that. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> let's talk about your own personal ventures. What projects are you currently working um, on? You know, I have, I'm like looking to see my husband. I have a few. Um, whenever I'm not working at YNR or with our kids, my, I did grab my family's genes with our brains constantly right. moving. So. I have a few things that are stirring about. Maybe I'll talk to, about them a little bit further as they progress a little bit. But Great. I foresee a very exciting year. Great. Now, have you had the opportunity to see YNR castmate alum who comes on now and then as her ghost, Sage, Kelly Sullivan's new show on TLC? No. You have not seen Too Close to Home. You've got to see I Kelly. Will. And too close to I'm home. I'm a big fan of Kelly. What I is an incredible thing? Tyler Perry took eight episodes and filmed it in eight days. That's incredible. That is a good format for your words to try and accomplish yes. that. Would it, you well, not say? Yes, and it, I mean he sh he proved it can be done and it's successful. Absolutely. And so it just it's just more opening for any sort of venture that anyone comes up with. It's a very exciting time in all aspects of television and media. Absolutely. So. Your favorite television show to watch <laughs> other than oh, you Young and now? the Restless or Bold and the Beautiful oh, now? That's too hard to say. I would say if you were to ask me in my entire life, I would always go back to Knott's Landing. People know go. that that was my right. go-to. Um, right. You know, even though it's not current, the show that every night brings me to a happy place is a, is an old episode of Seinfeld. There I used to watch go. the beginning of the news and get sad and then go right to my dream part, which would be Elaine. There you go. People can't believe that, that would probably be it. But I'm not. Well, you know, that's I'm very it's a part of the 70th I'm anniversary of the Television Academy, so I think that's so appropriate. Okay. Where can people follow you in the social media circles? Oh, you 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 can find me 
You can find yeah. me all over. Just look. all over. All, over. I mean, but, it's Laura Lee. There you go, Bill. There you go. But I think most importantly, we've got to remind everybody to tune in on September 1st on CBS Daytime for the 11. Thousand episode, episode Crazy, right? of Young and the Restless. Also, remember tune in on ABC on September 18th for the Emmy Awards, starting at 7 p.m. with the red carpet. This is a big fan the time. Best. Thank you so much. This is BJ Chorus with Laura Lee Bell, and this is the Hollywood Moment on the road to Emmy. And give your daughter a big hug for I me. Will. Okay. Hopefully, you'll see her okay, soon. Okay. Good do. night. Good night. Thanks. Bye.